Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new review. Today we're going to have a look at the brand new Eros RTA made by APM Mods in Italy. What we're going to have here is a 22mm RTA, pretty small, 34mm in height without drip to bend 510, 4ml capacity, four different air prints which you can change from the bottom and three different kind of uh, plates you can install inside from the bottom so you can change this from the fly it's pretty easy so we've got different um, these are the three I got here uh, different chamber um, the variations volumes um, the largest is uh, 16 millimeter you can see that this is just inside a little bit yeah a little bit wider and the other two are 13 millimeter with a yeah a kind of different ceiling at the top so this one this is flat and this one is more rounded um, yeah work pretty well and we have four different air pins from 1.2 millimeters up to 1.5 millimeters. We have a PMMA tank, a PMMA drip tip, and we've got different prices. When you buy this RTA uh, as a complete kit with all these reducers, um, we're gonna have a price of 99 euros, and you can reduce the price if you just buy one of these. So yeah, you can, check out how you want to buy all this yeah this is pretty good and pretty interesting in my opinion we also have some um, spares so the price of only rta with one reducer is then 89 euros um, there is an extension kit for the tank with 5.5 mls which is 1990 there is an extra insulator kit for example is 990 and one of these reducers when you just want to buy a second one because you just bought it uh, with one reducer um, it is 750 so all in all it is actually cheaper to buy the whole kit with all three when you want just to change the different flavors um this is available from APM Mods website and also from, for example, Italy Waping Gentleman Club, where I have mine from. Um, interesting thing, a packaging, yes, very easy. It's just a small carton. This is just one thing I wished to have may, uh, maybe just a little bit more presentation. Um, serial number, there's a QR code, which I will not show because of limitations of YouTube. This one is just clean, so there are some drops of water in it. And we have these um, sp a spare kit, yeah, just normal O-rings, post screws, etc. Um, this was, I think, coming from the extra um, reducers. So we're gonna put this away here. And we, uh, where's the other one? Ah, here. And these, one air pin is installed and these are the other three um, and there is one point that I want to mention right away that there is no marking which which um, air pin which one is and they are 1.2 1.3 1.4 1.5 .1 so it is not easy to identify them with your eyesight Meaning-wise, um, I would like to have a small marking somewhere, even when it is just a stripe or a few dots or anything, because it is not easy to identify them. I just had to take a tool to check out which one is which. Um, yeah, just wanted to say this to you. When I saw the first pictures of the Air Eros RTA, I thought, hey, this is so close and similar to the BP Mods Labs RTA. And then I had it in my hands and I thought, hey, this is, it looks like a copy of the um, Labs RTA. Um, 
And just today, before I'm filming this video, I thought, okay, I have to check out what's the story behind this. And then I realized that the Labs RTA, when I watched my old review, the Labs RTA is designed in Italy and the Labs stands for four persons who are actually the designers of the Labs RTA. And then I found out that, um, I, I found out that one, one, one person is also in the in the APM mods uh, friends list of these designers of the labs. I don't know if if it is more than one person, but it seems that one or more people who designed the labs RTA are now also designing and building the Eros RTA, and that's make and that makes it of course very clear why it is so similar. So this is. It looks like a kind of slightly different, updated, modified, whatever version of the Labs RTA made in Italy, not made in China, as far as I know. Um, main differences here, it's a bottom fill, it's not a top fill, and you can change these air pins when your coil and setup is installed right here from the bottom. The, that is really the main difference. Um, smaller differences, yes, fla flavor-wise, I have in mind that the Labs RTA, which I liked a lot, had a pretty good universal flavor, not, not too much in any specific direction flavor-wise. Uh, all my different flavor um, in my liquids was identified pretty pretty clear when vaping. Here it's a little bit different. I have that feeling that this RTA is more on the tobacco side. Um, pretty similar to the Biker L because I I tested um, the Biker L and the Eros at the same time, just switching um, between them and uh, trying different um, liquids and so on and. Similar to the Biker L, here I don't have a lot of sweetness in my liquids. Um, a little bit, yes. Um, the the best flavor, throated balance, and um, kind of sweetness I, I, I could achieve with the largest air pin, with the 1.5 air pin. And the um, larger reducer, but all in all, in my opinion, it's more into the tobacco side. Um, you know, I'm not a tobacco vapor, but I think I can identify it somehow. So let's go from top to bottom. We've got a PMMA drip tip 510. We've got a tank unit which is the bottom fill. This this thingy here is, I think it's uh, somehow pressed. Um, not totally sure if there is a threading. It looks very solid like it is, so I will not change it. This threading here goes in somehow before the O-ring, so it is, it's good to um, install and uninstall works very, very well. Don't know if there is other materials coming like PEI and so on. I have no idea. Um, yeah, this is the mechanism which we know from many other RTAs, uh, maybe coming from the flashy vapor and now also from Kuma and so on. So the wick, uh, the feeding system is installed here in the in the chamber unit. Um, no extra wicks are required here. Just take a mod to take this off, and also um, here this this cutout and 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 knob here is very much related to the labs RTA. Yeah. And here you can see um, the feeding system, which is working exactly like on the Flashy Vapor, the DLC wicks. Uh, and here you can just put in 
these reducers like we also had on the labs RTA. If you want to take them out, you, you can just push them here from the top. That's definitely okay to do. But um, I also found out that when your tank here is installed like this, I also find, found out it's not really a problem just to take a small tool here and to go on each side and then it's also good to take out. So it's, yeah, it's, it's easy. <coughs> sorry, sorry. So we leave this in here. You can also vape this without the reducer, which is also not bad. Just check it out. You are not changing any the feeding system when you are not putting the reducer in. Um, there is maybe, yeah, these, these cutouts here are maybe holding your cotton just slightly, but it's not completely necessary. So coming back, we have serial number CE trash bin, all the stuff that is necessary. And you can also, you can also just put out the screws here to check out what is inside. Yeah. So the air is coming here from the outside and then somehow breaking here on these barriers and then going around and then inside the air pins. So we've got here, like on also a few other RTAs, this interesting system that we've got these, yeah, let's say windbreakers or however you want to call them which is working in a good way, in my opinion. It does a good job. It feels pretty silent, not loud. I think these windbreakers are also somehow noise breakers. They are also um, making the, the airflow faster. And yeah, pro the uh, positive is protruding yeah, far enough. Yeah, all, all pretty good, all very easy. Works all best. A lot of things we know from the labs RTA. We got here a two post design. You can see the insulator, the, the air pin. We have these barriers here. This is some kind of guidance that you know where to place your cotton. Easy, easy, easy. We've got no clamps around the posts. So um, I think it is easier to have thinner wire here than any fused clamp and etc. stuff. And um, I used my typical, which works pretty well, my typical 30 gauge candle A1 with a 2.5 millimeter rod. Um, and then you just have to check if you want to go to the outside of your posts or maybe to the inside. This is a difference how big you want to make your coil. Um, I realized that I like my coil pretty much to be a little more on the small side that it's gonna, yeah, it's going to be a little bit more warmer somehow. It's he heating up a little bit more. So I'm going to the inside to make my coil spaced, but as small as pos possible. Yeah, looks good. I think I need a battery first in my mod. Yep. Some tweezers because now I try to make my coil a little bit smaller.
the height. I like it like uh, the position, the exact position of the uh, guidance tool here. That works pretty well, but you can go lower and higher and just check out what exactly you like regarding flash it. Throat it. Throat it. Placing your cotton, yes, pretty easy. So, the only thing you need to do, you just cut it right at the edge of these guidances. And that's really all you have to do. So, what are we going to take? I think I had the Virginia on my on my Biker L, so now we're going to use the Vaping Gentleman American. Oops, oops, sorry. That was not so clever. Okay, so we're gonna check that the cotton is placed good inside the guidances. Yeah. So actually nothing was, so there is one of these knobs here and one of this cutouts. So just put it on here and then upside down the tank and everything works pretty well. Gonna use my lovely Ivan drip tips because I think it just looks great. Yeah, 11 watts. I can wave with all of these air pins pretty well. They feel very good. Just to identify them is not that easy. Now I have the largest with the 1.5, which is in slightly um, mid-open MTL, but still not too tight. So I can feel some nice resistance, more on the open side, of course. But this small um, wind sound breaker inside does something interesting. It makes the air floor a bit more tight. Flavor-wise, yeah, I explained it in the beginning. There is not a lot of sweetness. It's going into the direction of um, tobacco style, net style. Um, I have the feeling that the Labs RTA was a little bit more universal on the liquid side, but all in all, um, I like it a lot. It's smooth, it's it's silent, um, it's easy to handle setting up, putting your cotton inside. Everything works very well, is is well done and good. Also, the, the, the bottom fill, yeah, I have no complaint about it. I I'm a friend of bottom fill, actually. Nothing to complain about this. And all in all, I think it's a good RTA. It's slightly different from the labs, um, but interesting. And also on the price side, 99 with all reducers and four air pins. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty, pretty well done. So I think that's all to say. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.